If you're leading a collaborative meeting on WebEx, one of the most valuable tools to help you do that are the whiteboards and the annotations. Let's explore how to leverage whiteboards and annotations to make collaboration excellent in your virtual team meeting. There are two ways to open a whiteboard in WebEx. One is to go to the Share menu and select Whiteboard. The other is to go over to the button that's on the upper right-hand corner of the Meeting Manager and you can click New Whiteboard and one will instantly appear in a new tab. You can add more than one whiteboard, so let's go back and add one the other way. So notice that we can have several whiteboards. Each whiteboard is one page, but you may open as many of these as you like. If you look in the upper left corner of the whiteboard, you will see the annotation toolkit. It is a series of annotations just above where my pointer is right now. Let's just kind of explore them very briefly. The pointer is the first tool. Left click on it, release the mouse button, come down on the screen and left click again to deposit it. If you are the presenter, you also have the ability to use a laser tool, which is the one I'm showing you now. There's a text tool, a line tool, in the submenu, you'll see a single arrow and a double arrow line tool, which you can make in any direction. There also is a rectangle tool with a submenu of an oval tool. We'll draw one of those. There also are stamps, the X stamp and the check stamp. Next is the highlighter tool, which is a thicker line. And you also have the pencil tool, which is a very thin line. And so you can erase any of these by using the eraser tool. With the eraser tool, just put it in the crosshairs and you can eliminate any line that anybody makes on the screen. If you are the presenter, you also can clear all pointers and clear all of the annotations just with a simple menu. When you open each whiteboard, a generic tab is placed there that just says whiteboard. You're probably going to want to give it a more meaningful name. To do that, all you do is right click on that tab and click rename. And then call it whatever that document will be about. So maybe we're going to brainstorm on the agenda. And on the second one, we'll brainstorm on solutions. And so those tabs are already set up. Now when we save them, it'll be real clear uh, what those whiteboards are about. We also can reorder the tabs. So maybe I don't want agenda first. I can reorder the viewer tabs here and just move the solutions up and then uh, the agenda will be down. I apply it, click OK, and now the agenda tab is second and the solutions is first. You can do this with any documents that are opened in tabs in WebEx. When you exit WebEx, you'll be able to automatically save many of the documents that you have in WebEx. But be very careful about whiteboards because it will not always save the whiteboards. I always save them manually just to make sure. So go to File and Save or Save As with Document. And then you want to go into your My Documents folder and find the one for your project team or whatever you have as a file name for your team and go in there and give this a useful name. I would make this Agenda uh, May uh, 13th, 2012. And that way, when you save it, you know exactly where it came from. You want to do the same with solutions. When when you save the whiteboard, it will save one whiteboard at a time. So for that reason, you need to go in and manually save it again, just to make sure that that agenda gets saved and so and that that solutions for May 13, 2012 uh, gets saved. And then um, you will be able to find it for future viewing. And now you're probably wondering, where will all the other documents go from this meeting? When you leave WebEx and you close the meeting, you will always get this screen that is about ending the meeting. And it says, do you want to end this meeting for all participants? Of course we do. But there is a block here where we can click it to save the meeting documents, either as UCF or as PDF. UCF is a WebEx form of like a PDF. It, if you load a PowerPoint, it's going to save that PowerPoint as a UCF file, not a PPTX file. Or you can save it as a PDF. If you so desire, just click on it. It also is going to automatically save a copy of, of anything, like any polls that you used, any files that you uploaded. It's going to actually put a file on your My Documents folder that's going to look a lot like this, and it's going to be filed under that meeting number right there, which is the exact same number as our meeting number was that you would find in that Meeting Info tab up here. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and say End the Meeting. 
and it saves all the documents. So in summary, you have learned how to open a whiteboard by going to File, Open, Whiteboard. You learned how to use the cool annotation features on the whiteboard. Lots of very practical tools, not only that you can use, but that other people in your team meeting can be enabled to use. You do need to enable that right in the Participant Privileges menu. The third is how to rename the whiteboard. I showed you how to right-click on those file tabs and change it. You can also reorder that same way. We learned how to save the annotated whiteboard. You can either save it manually, which is the safest way to do it, and the way I've learned to always do it, or when you exit WebEx, some of the meeting files that you bring in there will be saved. Last of all is how to find the annotated whiteboards in my documents. Just go into that file folder that I told you to look for, and they will all be in there. So the tutorials are just the first step in learning how to operate WebEx. There's a lot more to be learned to really make your sessions engaging, interactive, and fun. Please join our community. We've got our blog, our video tutorials, and our newsletter that you can just send us an email and we'll put you on the list. You'll want to know all these best practices that we send out really every week. So this ends our tutorial about how to leverage whiteboards and annotations. Really powerful tools. Get out there and use them often. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner, and this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you.